So for this video, I was inspired by a Yves Saint Laurent advertise and I must warn you that this is not an exact copy of that photo because I do not own any Yves Saint Laurent products and they use Photoshop and other techniques but I was inspired by it and I created this look. It's basically a smoky silver and green, dark green eyeshadow with a thick eyeliner and red lips and some defined cheekbone um, I'm not wearing any foundation I, I don't wear a lot of foundation usually so you'll get used to that in my videos because I don't like wearing foundation um, I'll leave the picture that I, that I got inspired by on my blog, I'll leave the link below and if you want you can check it but as I told you this is not an exact copy of it but I like the way this turned out so I hope you like it also I didn't shoot this video on this room I shoot it in my room but the lighting there is really 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 terrible so I came here to show you the final look because there you cannot see the bright red lips or the, the cheeks and I need to find another place to shoot my videos but I really hope you like this look and if you know if you want to know how to achieve this look just keep watching bye so I've already applied my eyeshadow primer now I'm going to apply an eyeshadow base. I'm using this one from Essence. It's a grey one. This grey one. I'm using a flat brush like this and I'm going to apply it in the middle of the lid, more or less right here. And I'm going to leave the inner corner and the outer corner free without anything. So I can put another eyeshadow there afterwards. Okay, and you have this crazy look. I'm going to blend it a bit with a fluffy brush on the crease line. So it's not really harsh or anything. Okay, now I'm using a sparkly silver eyeshadow. I'm using this one. It's also from Essence and it was a limited edition. Using a um, small brush, small eyeshadow brush, you're going to pat on the eyeshadow over the, um, the eyeshadow base that you just applied. Okay, now using this same small brush you're going to use a dark green and I'm using this one from my 88 warm palette. It's a dark green and you're going to apply the green on the inner and outer corner of your eye blending it with a silver eyeshadow. You can bring it up to the crease line like this. You can apply a bit more if you need. And then do the same thing on the outer corner. Okay. 
now I'm using a fluffy brush like this to blend the edges a bit okay now you're going to take a small fluffy brush like this one and a light brown like this also from the 88 warm palette and you're going to blend it around these edges right here and you can bring it a bit out okay. you just need to blend it a bit now on the picture that I saw she was wearing a really highlighted brow bone so for that I'm using um, highlighter, stick highlighter and then apply a powder highlighter from Sephora on top I'm using this lighter one right here with a brush, with a flat brush just get a bit of that stick highlighter and you're going to apply it just in the middle of your brow and then you apply the powder highlighter and you can see it's already shining so now you're going back to that cream eyeshadow, the silver grey one and I'm using the same brush that you used first you're going to apply it um, on your lower lash line near your lashes Then with a small brush like, like this one, you're going to take um, black eyeshadow, any kind of black eyeshadow you have, and you're going to apply it over the, the cream eyeshadow. Keep it near your lashes, don't go, don't go down a lot. Then with the same small brush and using that dark green that you used on your inner and outer corner you're going to apply it a bit, like a tiny bit under the, the black line that you just drawn. Apply the green until the middle of your eye and don't go all over till the, the inner corner this is just for mixing purposes, you know. Then, on the picture that I saw, the lower lash line is really, really black. I think she, she, they actually used a gel eyeliner or a liquid eyeliner on the lower lash line, but I'm using a cream eyeliner, black cream eyeliner. Why is it not showing? Here it is. <laughs> and an angle brush. Now, for the upper lash line, she wears a really thick black eyeliner. So for that, I'm using Black Track from MAC, a gel eyeliner. Okay, so you have this thick line and to make it even darker I'm going to underline my upper waterline with a black eyeliner 
you don't need to do this, you know, like that, see? And then, to finish the eyes, you're going to highlight your tear dot right here, and you're going to use the same method that you used with a brow bone. Eyeliner stick, then eyeliner powder. Then you're going to apply mascara. I'm using this one from Kiko, it's Unforgettable Mascara from Kiko Makeup. Okay, so now for the face. On the photo, it seems like she's wearing a bronzer and then over a um, peachy blush. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm using this one. It's Ula from Benefit. And then a peachy blush. This one is from Essence. Um, and I'm going to apply it right here. On the yellows of your cheeks. And now apply the blush on top of it. Just don't go like way down, just stay more or less here. Now for the lips. On the picture she's wearing bright red lips, so I'm going to line my lips with a red lip liner. This one is from Kiko Makeup. And then I'm going to cover them with, um, let me see if I can show you, a red, bright red lipstick from the Oh My Gold palette from Sephora. And it's this one. I'm sure that my camera is making it orange, but it's, but it's a bright red. So you're going to line your lips, you're actually going to fill them with this red lip liner. Then using a lip brush like this, you're going to, to cover the lip liner with a red lipstick. So that's it for this look. See you next time. Bye.